What's up everybody, so Wildman here. I'm gonna come to you today. I'm gonna show you how to check out how to operate, turn on, turn off, safety things, and your PM check on your Thermaking Evolution Tri-Pack. So let's go ahead, let's jump into it, but first we gotta get our butts outside, so let's roll with it. So here we are at the back of the truck. As you can see, we are equipped with a Thermaking Tri-Pack Evolution. So let's open her up and take a look inside. All right, so on the tri-pack evolutions on our truck, very simple and easy to get into the inside. As you can see, these two little switches right here, just press the bottom, clips up, it's that easy. All you gotta do is go inside, pull it down. Now let's dig on inside, let's see exactly what all we got going on in here. Now since we all got a good view of what's going on inside here, I wanna kinda go over a couple of things with you. Now, one of the main things to always be aware of is your main power on and off button, which is right here on this switch, okay? All you got to do is flip this switch on and off. Now, right now, I got it in manual off, and you always want to do this whenever you're inspecting this. I can't stress enough on how and why you would like to turn that switch off, but to do your proper PM on your engine every day, you don't want to stick your hands in there to check your belt, and that babe started to fire up. You do get a little warning. Well, let's just make sure that that warning buzzer is actually working. If not, you're gonna have your hand stuck inside there when that babe goes to fire up. It's not some words I want my hand. So let's get back on into it. All right, so here's some simple little good to know things right here. Right here, you're looking at your fuel and water separator. Okay, it's pretty much your fuel filter, which is right here. So these are also your fuel lines. A good thing to check is always make sure that these stay pretty tight and snug. Make sure you don't have any holes, uh, your lines are not starting to dry rot or anything like that. Now down here is going to be your oil filter and then here is your dipstick for your oil and then your main fill right here for your oil. Now as you can see we have the main water line right there that goes to the water uh, for water cool. It's very simple and easy. This takes less than five to ten minutes to do on a daily basis but it's just one thing is understanding and knowing this engine. So simply, all you gotta do to check your oil, make sure your engine's off, make sure your power's off when you're doing your PM, pull your dipstick, pull your dipstick out. Always clean and wipe first one. Stick back in, remove again. And as you can see, our oil line is where it needs to be. In the event it happened to be low, all I have to do, open this up right here, which this engine takes the exact same oil that our trucks take out here on the road. Now next off, next thing that you would like to check. So, so far I've already checked all my fuel lines right here, made sure that they were not cracked, broke, torn, or misshapen in any kind of way. My water line is good, good condition. It's not dry rotted. It's not leaking water anywhere. The clamps are pretty good. I have my main power switch off and my oil is good. The last thing that I always end up doing is checking your belts. Your belt for your APU is right here below your fuel filter. All you got to do is grab that little belt down there, give it a little tug, make sure it's in good working order and you don't have a lot of slack in it as I can clearly tell. All right, so as you can see, everything was in good working order. So the PMs, the little checkups on your, your engine every morning is easy. It's not much to it, just always make sure your main power switch is off. Okay, so let's re-go back over it real quick. Very simple and easy to open. Hit your clips, pull your flap down. Next thing you do after that, make sure your main power switch, which picture of it will show up right here, is off. Make sure it is in the off position. That is the override main switch on it. It shuts your engine completely off. Next thing you do is, since my hand's already right there by that power switch, I normally go ahead and check my radiator hose. Make sure it's not broken, dry, rotted, not loose, the clamps are holding it good on, and everything's good to go. Next, I move over, and I pull my dipstick on my oil. Pull my oil dipstick out, check the oil level on it. Oil level is good, we're good to go. As I'm doing that, I'm also looking at the electrical wiring and all in the inside. Anything to catch my eye, maybe out of place, uh, starting to get in bad condition, I'll look further into it. 
Next thing I'm gonna to move to is gonna be my fuel filter and my water separator. I'm gonna make sure that that's all looking good. My fuel line's going to it, nothing's loose, <laughs> nothing is cracked. Uh, everything's all good in there. And then the very last thing I do is I reach my hand down there and I tug on that belt. I make sure it's not dry, rotted, loose, or starting to fray or tear. So other than that, that's the simple, easy part about this engine. That's all you gotta do and it's done and over with. So I tell you what, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get ready to go ahead and move inside the truck and I'm gonna show you how to turn everything on and operate it from there. But always make sure when you're out here, turn it back on. So there we go. Mine's getting ready to fire up, but I tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and go on inside and uh, we'll shut her off and I'll show you how to operate and turn everything on from there. How about that? Also, one other thing, always make sure these are your coolant lines that runs to your APU. Make sure this handle's all the way in the up position. Down, it'll close it off and it'll keep the water from flowing through and it'll shut your APU off when it starts warming up. So always make sure your handle is in the out position. All right, so this next part, I'm gonna go over is simply getting it ready to operational run. All right, so after you've already done it, say you pull into a truck stop, you're getting ready to get out, or you're just taking your little 30 minute break, you wanna kick on your APU unit. It's very simple and easy to do on making these steps, and I'm gonna help you through them. Number one thing, now we got two ways that these are all set up. One, mine already has a tri-pack switch right here, which on the newer models, uh, the 2019s and above, they don't have the actual switch that says tri-pack. All right, so let's go over these switches. Now my truck was installed with the tri-pack switch, which is this one right here. But let's go over, if you do not have this switch, it will look like this in the International LT. Now the way that they ended up doing it, this was a dead switch, and then tri-pack realized International did away with putting this in and just started hooking to this switch. Now, let's understand this, on this switch, you would think pressing the on would turn the APU on. It does not. That on is actually meaning for standby on. That will not turn your APU into full operation. In order to get it full operation to get AC and the bunk heater, the little man laid in the bed with the snowflake and the three squigglies for heat, you have to press that down. It has to be down in a downward motion. Then you will get full operation out of your APU. In the event it is in standby mode, Please remember in standby mode, the APU will fire up, but only to charge the batteries when they get low. Once it charges them, it will then turn off. You will not get AC, you will not get heat. You have to have it in the full position all the way down to get it fully operational. On the tri-pack switch, which is shown right here, it is simple, normal and standby. Standby, no matter what, your APU will start up if your batteries get low, but it will not operate normally. It will not fire up at all, no matter how much you hit that keypad back there in the back that I'm gonna show you, it will not fire up. You have to put it into normal operating mode. Once you flip that switch up, then she'll be ready to rock and roll. Other than that, it's simple and easy. Always make sure when you come to your stop and you're getting ready to operate, set your truck brake. Always make sure your truck is in neutral, whether you have an automatic or you have a manual. In this case, automatic. My truck's in neutral, my truck brake's been set. Now the key, the key has to be in the off or ACC position. It cannot be in the on. If the key is in the on position, it will not allow the APU to fire up. Or if you can't get your APU to fire up, always check your key. Make sure it's fully off or it's in the ACC. So let's move on back here to the back and I'll show you how to operate the keypad from there. So back here behind the driver's seat is the tri-packs control box. Now it's very simple. You got three modes that you can be able to operate on this control box. Now remember, before you get out of the captain's chair up there, make sure that you flip your tri-pack into the normal operation and get it out of the standby mode. Back here, you're gonna have three different modes that you can be able to run, one AC, two just straight fan or three your heat all right so it's getting a little warm we're going to get ready to go ahead and fire mine up into the air conditioner mode now 
It's very simple and easy, and this is something to remember, and this is what's good about it. It has its own standalone air conditioning unit. That's what's mounted back there on the back of the cab of the truck, which I'll show you a picture of it right here, which is the AC condenser, which is mounted. The AC condenser and fan is mounted on the back of the cab of the truck. Always make sure that that thing is free and clear of debris and dirt. Don't let it get caked up. Make sure you get that stuff washed off. It'll help uh, cool your truck down a whole lot faster during the summertime. Keep it free and clear of dust and dirt. All right, so very simple. As you can see, my system's off. Now my truck is in neutral, it's in park, and the key is in the off position. Once I'm ready to rock and roll, we're into the normal mode on the switch. All you gotta do is come back here. If you bump your knob and hold it down. So as you can see right here, my STBY, which is standby, is telling me it's in standby mode right now. To get it out of the standby mode and to turn it in air conditioner. So remember, see, here's the AC with the little snowflake. You got the fan just for fan, and you got these little squiggly, three squiggly lines, which stand for heat. Here you got your regular thermostat. You can adjust it to colder, hotter. As you can see, it just clicked out of standby mode because I moved my knob, and we're getting ready to fire up. You should see that blinking right there. It should be blinking green. Now, I do want to also point out, this right here is not a button. Do not press it, pull on it, twist it, push it to the left, push it to the right. That is actually your thermostat for your APU unit. If you normally what's been happening, driver's been thinking it's a button and pushing it up and it actually damages their thermostat and then their APU will not work properly because the thermostat's damaged so it's not able to see what the temperature is set at. So always remember, this is not a button. That little guy right there, don't push that little guy. Leave that little guy alone. Don't ever do it. And you should hear the APU fire up here in just a second. But yes, my fan just kicked on. So we're rocking and rolling. I can feel the cold air already starting to come out. I will also show a picture down below the bottom of the bunk. One is going to be your heat port. One is going to be your AC and fan port. So as you can see, it's heater port. And this is your AC and fan port. So to get it out of your air conditioner mode into just straight fan mode. So say, I just want to circulate some air. It feels good outside. That's all I want to do. All you'll do is take this knob, rotate it one up. And as you can see now, it's starting to flash up there at the top. It is now turning off my AC. So as you can tell, my fan went off because I don't have this, my fan speed adjusted up and on yet. With the AC on, it's still gonna come out slowly with the AC running, because that's just the way it does, and you can adjust the speed, but if it's in AC, you will never completely fully shut that fan off. So always remember that too. So to be able to turn my fan, I can adjust my speed. As you can see, these lights are starting to light up right there. Maybe we can get it to focus in on that. And I can turn it up a little bit more. And as you should be able to hear, the fan is picking up a whole lot more. And that's full max, which we got some air moving around here pretty good with that. Which your heater is very simple and easy to operate and use. All you have to do simply is to turn this over to heat. Make sure you spin that thermostat on over to heat. So as you can see, the white dot is all the way over to the right side towards the fan, towards the driver's seat. Uh, works out very well, heats very well. I never have any issues. I normally stay nice, warm, and toasty during the winter times of my truck. I also stay nice and cool during the summer times. So hopefully this video helped y'all out and you were able to see how to operate this. Now do not forget, inside your J&J &J Express truck, you should have a book that looks just like this. It shows you the components within your APU unit it also has this little card that goes with it. In this card, it will teach you how to do each, every little step that I just went over. I was making sure I didn't have it upside down. In the event you do not have this inside your truck and is not inside the paperwork, get with the shop and Richard will get you hooked up. He's got that already uh, copied down on a paper, stapled together and he can give it to you. But this book is a good book to have. Everybody take it easy, be safe. Wild man's gonna get out of here. Take a little bit of break. I got to go haul a load and it's starting to get a little warm inside this truck. So I'm about to go ahead and cut it back on the AC. So everybody take it easy, be safe out there. Wild man out. The